Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a halftone dot pattern look to your videos. So this is an effect from my new Premiere Pro Effects Preset Pack 2, which includes not only this, but 75 other effects. So if you want to check that out, you can go to justinodisho.com slash shop. You can see all these drag and drop presets. But I'm going to show you how to create this effect in this tutorial from scratch. So I'm going to first go to the video effects folder and then I want to find one called extract. So this is going to be in the adjust video effects folder and I'm going to click and drag that onto our image. That'll give us this cool black and white look. It basically extracts out the image based on the black and white input levels. So in the effect controls panel, you can adjust the black input level, which kind of adjust when and how strong it starts. And you can adjust the white input level, which also will kind of adjust when that threshold kind of kicks in. And you can also adjust the softness, which at zero softness, you got these harsh edges and lines. And as you go up to 100, it kind of really smooths things out. So this is going to depend on the contrast and the levels in your image. You also have the option to invert this. So putting the black and where there's white and white where there's black. But I'm going to leave it at that for this unique black and white look. And then we want to add a halftone dot pattern. So in order to create these dots, I'm going to play around with the grid effect. And this is in the generate video effects folder. I can drag the grid effect onto our video and I can adjust the spacing of this grid in the corner and anchor points to where we squeeze it in so that we have these close together lines horizontally and vertically. So I'm just squeezing the lines in basically until we have these dots. So you can see, I want to make, try to make it symmetrical, but now we basically have these dots and you can set the color of this to black and then you can invert the grid and set it to multiply blending mode. So now we've just blended these dots on top of the original image. And now you can play around with the border amount. So it's at five right now, but I can lower or increase that to get a darker or lighter dot or a more spaced out dot, you could say. And now I basically just want to adjust the softness of that black and white or just the black and white input levels based on our image so that we get a cool halftone dot pattern look somewhere right about here works well for this image but it, it isn't necessarily actually halftone but it gives off that look because we've created the dots over top and made it black and white so you can go and tweak this in different ways uh, instead of extract you could maybe tried to do a black and white tint or something. So you could just do a tint or you could even do it, try to do color tints and see if that looks good. Maybe green and white, but I like the extract for that inky black and white look, but essentially the grid halftone dot pattern is cool to overlay and apply on top of your clip and can be used as a dot pattern on its own. So if you want to get all of these effects that I showed you and more as built-in presets. You can check them out in my new effects pack two, available for sale on my website, justinodisho.com slash shop, or you can play around with these, building these effects on your own. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and check out my other videos for hundreds of more tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.